Sorry if I'm the last in the world to know, but for some reason, I did not think that this was possible. But in the next couple of minutes, I want to show you how you can actually use Lovable now to build Chrome extensions. You may have done it already. And as I said, I may be the last one to come to this party. But I was just told by someone, uh, not just, just some, just anyone by Whitney, actually, who leads Lovable's community, that there's a lot of people these days building Chrome extensions with Lovable. I was like, wait a minute, shouldn't there be like some kind of a packaging thing that needs to be done? Like, I was not aware that Lovable can do it, right? So she's like, no, no, there's people legitimately doing it all in Lovable, no cursor, no magic, nothing. I was like, huh, okay. I'm building small tools. This is a very small tool, micro SaaS. Everybody understands the use case. You just have your own screenshot thing builder, whatever you want to call it, right? So I just simply asked Lovable, can this be built into a Chrome extension? And it confirmed that it can do it, right? Apparently, there's just a couple of things that would need to be connected. Now that we have Lovable Cloud, the edge function powering my uh, uh, website screenshotting tool can piggyback off of it. So it just needs this manifest file and a little bit of restructuring and bam, one prompt later it built it for me all i needed to understand was like it said that i need to package it and submit it to a chrome web store and that's what i'm going to be showing you today so like your prompt here should be in whatever tool that you built if you wanted to become a chrome extension just go into the chat mode and ask global hey what do you need to do to make this into a chrome extension right and then he just explained it to me very easily right Lovable creates all the files and builds in all the functionalities and I can kind of test it. And then there's just a couple of very, very simple steps that we've on my channel been through many times over, right? So very easily, you export your app to GitHub, you download your entire repository, which is zipped. I'll show you how to do that. Then just store everything that you need in a folder and then you go to Google development tools and submit it. Honestly, that last part was 10 times longer and more difficult than this part building it in Lovable, as usual, right? Google's APIs and whatnot, it's just nuts at this point. So like, very simple. All I did was like, okay, I wanted to do X, Y, I wanted this to be a Chrome extension. It coded it up, right? I wanted it to actually re have it work both as a web app and a Chrome extension. Just made five edits, single prompt, uh, all of you obsessing over credits, less than two credits away, and I had an extension folder built, right? So all I did was said, hey, just do it, right? You create me a Chrome extension to work alongside this. And then it gave me this link where you go to the Dev Center. Um, basically, it would be under chromewebstore.google.com, right? And then from here, when you are on the Chrome Web Store, um, you would just click on these three little dots and then you can go to my extensions and themes. But like what you really want to do is go to the developer's dashboard, right? So I'm just going to log in with, to my Google email. I'm going to pause so that I can do that. You're not going to miss anything special. Okay, now that I'm logged in, no pass keys, whatnot. I just signed in, not now. Right. The only thing I got to do at this stage is just two quick things. Read and agree to these best practices and they pay a registration fee. Right. That's all I got to do, really. Um, I'm not going to do that because I've already done it on another account. So I'm just going to switch over to that account. So let me turn this off and this off. Right. And then when you do it, you're going to see this developer dashboard that is completely empty. Right. Just have has like a completely empty uh, a screen. And from there, all you got to do is click to add a new item. Now you can see here that it's asking you for a couple of types of files or folder options, right? And one especially interesting and easy one to obtain is a zip of your repository, right? Of your extension, better say. So if we go back to our lovable project, right? After I've created it, lovable told me, hey, I built 
everything inside of this extension folder for you, right? And I'm, I'm hopeful that it's going to be the same thing with you. If not, you can instruct it to say, hey, put all of the extension files into this folder. And then at the same time, because for submission purposes, I'm going to need icons. I asked Lovable to generate those for me, right? Basically using AI. And it did. It generated icons, three of them, and place them inside of the folder. Beautiful, right? I don't have to do anything. From there, very simple. You go and click on the GitHub button. If you haven't exported your app yet, you know how that state looks like. All you would have to do is click, connect. We're not gonna do that. Like I will assume for the purpose of this video that you have previously watched any of my videos and you know how to export your projects to GitHub. And when you do that, you just click and open your GitHub repo. It can stay private, doesn't matter, right? From there, very simple. Click on the code button and download zip. This downloads your entire repository, right? Everything that you have, right? And when you do that, right, on top of it, there's going to be all of these folders in a zip, including the extension folder. From there, all you need to do is what I've done here which is I've just took out the extension folder with all of its elements, right? With its icons, the manifest, everything that, that's needed. Styling, like I didn't create any of this. Like all of this was created by Lovable. There are some files, granted, that I added later down the road um, that you're going to need to submit your listing, and I'm going to show you those. But when I was done, I took the I took the extension and zipped it again, right? So again, I would do this, like zip it in an extension file. And then from there, all that I would do is when it says new item, I go select file. I go and then find my folder, which is the extension folder. And then all it does is basically tries to read my product details category description, iconography, and everything. So trust me, this is the, the hardest part of all, just some filling this stuff out. Best way to do it, go to ChatGPT. Don't even think about, you know, figuring this out on your own, if, if I'm being honest. So all I've done is I've copied this entire screen right here, all of these fields, and had... um. Chat GPT tell me, hey, you know, choose this to be under tools category, language to be English, wrote me the description, icon, everything. Now do this on the package side. Everything is already in, so you don't have to do anything. This CRX file is already created by Lovable, I assume. Um, and then um, all you got to set up after that is privacy permissions, same thing. Go and ask ChatGPT to do that for you. And I can show you um, on my previous one. Let me archive this one, actually, because I don't need it. So let's go back to my items and let me show you the one that's pending review, right? So again, fully written by AI, tools, English, icon created by it. The only thing I really had to do manually, which you're going to have to do, is like get a tool, I don't know if it's Canva or whatever, and build screenshots of these exact sizes, right? Just put them in, build these canvases, and take a screenshot. Like the cool part about my app is that it's a screenshot making app. So what I've done is I literally took its URL and I just copied it like this and then dumped it in here. And then I click to capture the screenshot. Uh, the previous on the load. This is the old version, actually. But yeah, there it is. And then when I downloaded it, I was just then manipulating it in Canva or whatever. Uh, so you know, it's working well and 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 all that. Um, and then when I filled it out, uh, I added a homepage URL, which is going to be the Lovable uh, app website. I host all my apps on Lovable. Um, and then aside from like the store listing, as I said, privacy wise, uh, ask ChatGPT how to fill this out. You don't need to have uh, an extension pol uh, a, a, a privacy policy for the extension unless you're collecting people's data. Mine doesn't collect any data on anyone. Like I don't capture any of this. No backend is used, uh, or any tables are are even generated for the project. So that's a very easy submission. And then from there, 
there's this distribution part. Mine is going to be free, public, in all regions, right? And as you're submitting and working through it, uh, it's going to also tell you what else do you need to do. One of the things that you got to do is you got to go to your account settings and define your display name and verify your email address. Again, very easy. Um, you say that you're probably a non-trader account. You don't need to input your address or anything, right? And you just specify the visibility of your item. Like in my case, I wanted this one to be visible. And then from there, when you're in your items menu back again, uh, on, next to this save draft, which you should be saving drafts before you leave any of the screens, there's going to be a button to allow you to submit it for your review. And then once you click that, you're done. And then you can see in the preview how your Chrome extension is going to look like. My, my is waiting for an approval. Uh, I, you got to give them, obviously, a developer email and, and, and all that. I did not see that that I gotta give them a date. So yeah, this is a pretty this is probably the oldest extension in the world, but doesn't matter. Um, what I was meaning to tell you is like I was hoping to record a tutorial, but there's not a tutorial to record. Like lovable's nuts these days. Like that all of this was done, like the design, the everything you're seeing, by the way, was done in like 10 commits. That's it. Like 10 commits. Uh, I just started it, like made the first commit seven hours ago. And then between the, in the next 30 minutes or so, just generating images and icons takes more than, than building a, a Chrome extension these days on Lovable. So hope that this video was helpful for you. Um, if not, you know, just do it on your, on your own to feel the magic. I wish that I recorded myself doing it because to me, it was felt unbelievable. I did not think that Lovable can do this. Um, all I did was like say, hey, create me a web app and a Chrome extension. As you can see, just a couple of file edits. I think this manifest file is the most important one for some reason, or maybe it's the fact that it, it builds all of this in HTML or this JS file. I don't know. I'm not a developer. Remember, like I'm just playing around. Icons look beautiful, right? Uh, obviously, uh, uh, all nano banana powered. And that's it. Like, very short, very sweet, and uh, very nice. Uh, put your extensions that you created in the comments. I want to test them out once they get published. Until the next video, peace out. See ya. Keep shipping.